uh, back with part two of this uh, sit down lesson because I had to cut part one short because I uh, had another important phone call. So this is a uh, back one at, back once again uh, part two of this uh, sit down lesson. As it says, the uh, S and P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial as well too. All close lower on Wednesday as First Republic Wall's uh, eclipse big tech earnings. Because the earnings of the First Republic Bank, as of Tuesday, I believe they dropped 50%. And then as of today, which is Wednesday, another day, they uh, dropped to 40% as well too. So for the past two days, we've definitely been seeing some... Uh, some type of woes of the uh, First Republic Bank. And that can affect the markets as well too. Because I believe earlier in the day today, you had the markets where they had a good solid gain, a good solid gain with the Dow Jones and the S&P 500. And the NASDAQ Composite as well, uh, as well too had good solid gains. But I believe in the, uh, I believe within the, uh, later in the day, as the uh, markets was uh, tumbling, crashing, because of this First Republic uh, Bank, you know, they was dealing with the uh, financial woes, I believe, and definitely with the markets, it had been crashing from the First Republic Bank from 50% from Tuesday, now to 40% from Tuesday, as the market's been on the downslide as well, too. So that kind of affects the, uh, the Dow Jones, the markets as well, too. So with that, this was just a continuing uh, part two of this uh, sit-down lesson for this news article from part one and part two. So hopefully this news article was edifying from part one and part two of the sit-down lesson from CNBC.com, uh, published by Alex Heron and Tana Metro from CNBC.com, updated April 26, 2023. 6.46 p.m. Eastern Time. As it says again, the Dow Jones S&P 500 closed lower Wednesday as First Republic Wolves eclipse big tech earnings. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to uh, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Bokar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.